from Indiana's news leader. Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock starts now. And we begin tonight with the legal battle over a baseball stadium that could affect all of us when the next weather disaster hits. Good evening. I'm Anne Marie Tiernan. And I'm John Stare. Construction has already begun on the new Kokomo Municipal Stadium, which is supposed to be home to the minor league Kokomo Jackrabbits this spring. But a dispute over federal money and the land upon which the stadium is being built has put this product project, I should say, in jeopardy. Kokomo now suing Indiana Homeland Security, which fears building the ballpark could mean Indiana may lose millions of dollars in FEMA money. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills has a look at the basis of this dispute. Construction in downtown Kokomo is in full swing. Same for the new $9 million baseball stadium going up a few blocks away. They're still pouring concrete. There's pump trucks over there last week. I saw them over there pumping concrete. But Jim Shirley, who backs up to the site, is not a big fan. You know, I think it'd be funny if they'd have to tear it all out personally, but, you know, whose money's that? Ours. The stadium covers about 70 parcels in a floodplain, six of which, the ones in pink, were acquired by the city more than a decade ago with money from FEMA, money that came with restrictions. The land had to be used for recreation or green space. We're not looking to um, get in the way of economic development, but uh, the rules of this grant are clear. And John Erickson with Indiana's Department of Homeland Security says the consequences of breaking those rules could be severe. We're talking about the possibility that FEMA could penalize the entire state uh, tens of millions of dollars over a period of time. Kokomo agreed to some design changes last fall. After the state recently said not good enough, the city cried foul and decided to sue, saying there's more at stake than the stadium. We got an Ernie Banks sign bat and Yogi Berra. Nathan Robinson works in a sports memorabilia store. It is a pretty big deal. A lot of people are talking about it. Um, some say it's going to be built. Some say it's not going to be built. A big sports fan, Robinson, sides with the city. He agrees the stadium is a key player in revitalization efforts. I'm a big fan of baseball, and I would like to see the high school teams use it and be able to take my kids down and watch baseball. While work has stopped on the parcels in dispute, crews are still moving forward. It's impossible to say if and when the stadium will actually open, especially now with both sides playing hardball. In Kokomo, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Four high schools in Kokomo are to use the stadium along with the Jack Rabbits, which signed a lease with the city already. The team will not only pay a yearly fee, but also maintain and operate the stadium. Now, we did reach out to the Kokomo Jack Rabbits, who tell us the organization is aware of the situation. It has not even discussed alternative plans. The team says the plan is to be ready to go for the home opener, which will be on Saturday, May 30th. 